What's up YouTubers? This is Tim Shop back with another video. Here's my Subaru transmission. This is a pull type clutch turbo transmission from my Impreza WRX 2.0. And here is the conversion kit that comes from Subaru Gears. All the necessary tools, flanges, ring and pinion, Subaru nose cone, and all sorts of other stuff. I'm going to start off with taking off all the unnecessary stuff, all brackets and everything. And the transmission is this length now, but it's going to end up being only this short with that nose cone right there. And it's going to have that little shaft there for the shifter. And yeah. So I took out everything that I needed to take out from this part of the transmission. And now I'm testing the Suba nose cone on the transmission. And this is exactly what it's going to look like when it's going to be done. Now I'm going to split the case. Definitely not the best, but it'll work. See a little bit of dirt, but that's okay. I think it's in okay shape. Twenty-three years later, and we only now got clearance for the differential without the ring gear even installed. Now I gotta stick a bolt in and check it again. Finally got everything shaved off out for it to fit. I installed the old ring gear and, and I still had to clear it out. Then I put everything in the washer, clean it out. Really smooth. I installed the, the pinion it just goes through this gear set this is the old pinion this is all the things that I can throw out of it here's the case halves put together there's a lot more tied in with this than you would think so it's kind of hard to film and, and think about what you're doing at the same time but I was trying to figure out this if you can hear that it's called backlash. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out what's so it's not too much, not too little. There's a way of adjusting with these, this tool. So it's quite a mess, but I'll leave it for another day. All right, it's the next day. The cases are split. I put some paint on the ring gear. I'll see where it contacts 
with the pinion and I'll adjust from there. I split the case again after installing this and running it through and you can see that it has the incorrect pattern. It's, not, it's touching too high up onto the gear. Right there you can see it's supposed to be a little lower. And I was recommended by Subaru Gears to remove one of these shims and to ad adjust the backlash the proper way. Took the case apart again and adjusted backlash. It seems like this did the job. You can see that. You can see that the contact is right in the center, up and down, and side to side. Now I've got to clean off the surface, clean off the paint, slap the case together with some silicone, and go from there. Finally confident enough. This is the right amount. You can hear it. Should be between five and seven thousandths. Or point one five. Around point one five millimeters. I'm pretty confident with this, so I'm gonna put it all back together. Finally all done with this transmission. It shifts through all the gears I already checked. The nose cone is on. All the parts that need to be replaced are replaced. The most important part. That's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you need more information about the Subaru Gears stuff, visit their YouTube channel. I'll leave the link down there. And thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. See you guys later.